Hey, how's it going, everybody? Um, ordered my very first tarantula from Jamie's Tarantulas. We're gonna do an unboxing video and just take a look at everything. And uh, hope you enjoy this. So let's get going. We have uh, some uh, stuff to read here. This is for uh, DOA and this is for uh, tarantula care upon arrival. Um, so uh, we'll take a look at those and uh, we'll get to going. Um, I've seen countless videos of unboxing videos for Jamie's tarantulas and uh, um, they always real good. Uh, she has real good uh, insulation. Um, this is the enclosure for the little sling that we're getting today. Um, Y'all gonna kill me because um, I don't remember the name, the scientific name, um, but I'm gonna look it up real quick. And uh, get it to you if I can even pronounce it. Okay, so what I ordered uh, is the Acanthoscuria geniculata, what? Um, <laughs> which is the Brazilian giant white knee tarantula. Uh, so that's what I ordered. Um, you know, she has really good prices, really good special going on for this uh, for this tarantula, and uh, you know, I just been wanting to order, and I've been looking back and forth, and. She just had real good prices and real good uh, shipping options. So, uh, yeah, let's keep going. Like I said, this is the uh, enclosure. Move stuff around here. Uh, oh, this is the tarantula right here. And here, let's see if there's any other stuff in there. Doubt it. Um, just a bunch of peanuts. And uh, yeah, anyway, let's just get that out the way and keep going. So, um, I noticed this show is, uh, you know, of course, ships these slings and vials. And uh, this is real moist. And uh, that's the uh, thing right there. I'm not even going to attempt to say it again <laughs> because uh, I stink at this. Uh, so, but we're gonna set up the, the, the enclosure first and then we'll take him out of the vial and uh, we'll go from there. So just keep that out the way. Ooh, nice and secure. Let's snap it off practically. The little moss uh, leaves and the eco earth um oh wait a minute Push. let's see if those cork in here uh aha i knew it could be some cork in here somewhere cork so we'll mess around with that i'll probably pull my daughter in here to give me some advice as to how to put the flowering on the cork I'm in the leaves, so I'm just press down a little bit. Um, okay, Rain, mm -hmm. come in here mm -hmm. um, if you can. She's also helping with lighting and stuff. So mm -hmm. what we're gonna do? Where do you think we should stick some of these? Um. Up? Hi. Should we try to hot glue one right there somewhere? Um, yeah. All right, let me see. Okay. Yeah. There's a hot glue. We're gonna, gonna go put a little dab right here. Mm -hmm. and oh, whoa. Gonna get this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. mm -hmm. Push it. We're gonna put some there. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna put one on the other corner. Yeah, yeah, I think that would look good. 
Okay. So we'll put another little bit right there. Mm -hmm. and, oh, your mom's going to kill. Okay, good. Got it wrong. So that's how we're going to do that. And we're going to put a little bit of this moss. Hopefully it'll help with uh, moisture, humidity. Mm -hmm. So we're going to just kind of just put it in here. So we're going to put a little little drizzle yeah. in yeah. there like that and then like sprinkle it on there and then wait until it's all dry and then like try to plop it off and see if some of the excess will come off exactly that's smart Eden thank you so we don't need a lot we're just gonna stick some in here we're gonna hold it in like that mm -hmm. um, this will probably put like wow, there that's I guess? Well, huge yeah <laughs> Did not expect for that thing to be that big. We'll push a little. We'll push it down a little bit. Yeah. Can you actually bring it a little closer to the camera, just so, so that way it'd be it's a little nice, a little easier to see and everything else on it. So that's what we did. Basic. On. Really, it keeps. It, there we go. Nice. Yeah, it actually looks all really nice close up. Okay. I'm up. Stick a little dent in here, maybe help it start yeah. burrowing. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so now it's time to unbox this little bad boy. Okay, so we're going to take it out the vial, pill bottle, whatever you want to call this thing, and uh, we're going to go from there. Uh, these big tweezers. This is actually our second tarantula. Uh, first one we bought from a local pet store. It's a Costa Rican strike knee that we got for about 25 bucks. But this is the first one that we actually ordered online. And I'm um, trying to find where it's at. I think I see it. Um, how is it doing? Ooh. Oh wow. It looks pretty. It is super tiny. <laughs> Look, super, super tiny. Do y'all see that? Hold on. I'm trying to get the focus on it because it's a very, very close one. Ooh yeah. Super, super tiny. It's super duper small. So that's even smaller than what I was thinking. Um, yeah. It was originally going to be? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm going to do it this way for the sake of the camera. I try to shoo them in here. I'm still thinking that um, I may wind up putting them back in this pill bottle. And. Uh, Okay, so then, ooh, ooh. Super in there. So I don't know if you can see in there. Um, mm -hmm. Let yeah, me. It kind of blends in with the dirt very easily. Yeah. So I let me use let me use my cell phone as a as a light. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can see him crawling around in there. Mm -hmm. There we go. It's very faint, but you can definitely see it. And then. He's right there on the side. Yeah. Itty bitty. Very small right there. So, um, Man, it looks a lot nicer. It's very small like how you just said, but it looks a lot nicer than what I originally thought it would be. So yeah, uh, he's very small. We'll see how he does in here. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to get him some itty bitty food to eat. <laughs> um, so let me go ahead and turn off my flashlight get this top on on snaps in real real good and tight so that's real good so uh, yeah just thanks for checking this out with me and uh there'll be more to come definitely my wife might not like that but <laughs> oh well uh i kind of have a fascination for these things now so uh but yeah appreciate it see y'all later